So what's the deal with Windows 8.1 with Bing? Is it a full version of Windows 8.1? Am I stuck using Bing as a search provider? What kind of devices come stock with Windows 8.1 with Bing? So many questions, so little time. Well, not really. We'll answer all these questions and maybe a little bit more with the Minex Neo Z64 Windows 8.1 with Bing Edition, or Z64. It pains me to say that. To kick things off, for those of you who don't know who Minix is, they are a company established in 2008 whose main focus is on media hub technology. Most people may recognize Minix from their seamless integration with XBMC, also known as Kodi now. While most media hubs generally have XBMC added in as an afterthought, Minix developed a partnership with XBMC to design their hardware around the popular media software. And that's what's really increased Minix's popularity over the last few years. Now the Minex Z64 is a little different from the previous Neos I checked out in this video here. The physical differences you might notice at first will be the size of the Z64. The X8H Plus I reviewed last time measured 128 by 128 by 20 millimeters in size. The Z64 is 114 by 114 by 20 millimeters in size. Okay, so it's not that big of a difference, but some other differences are the lack of a full-sized SD card reader. Instead, we have a micro SD slot. The optical audio out and the microphone port are also missing. And finally, the Wi-Fi antenna for wireless and connectivity is no longer removable. But you still get two USB ports, an HDMI port, and a 10100 Ethernet port. Accessories that come with this version are a HDMI cable and a power adapter. Now, some of you at this point might be wondering, Jack, that's like cool and stuff, but you said you explained what the heck Windows 8.1 with Bing is. Well, don't fret, dear Vera, with that weird voice. I will get to that. The Z64 line of Minix players now feature the Intel Atom Z3735F processor, and along with this new quad-core chip comes Intel HD graphics, 2 gigs of DDR3 low-voltage RAM, 32 gigs of eMMC storage, and the whole reason for this video, the Z64 comes with Android 4.4.4 KitKat or Windows 8.1 with Bing Edition. Yes, the Z64 comes in two flavors and both will be ready to run right out of the box. And the one that we will be focusing on today is the Bing version. Okay, so what's the big deal with Windows 8.1 with Bing? Is it a full version of Windows? Yes, it is a full version of Windows unlike Windows 8 RT. That brings us to the next question, am I stuck using Bing? No, the Bing edition just means the default web browser, in this case Internet Explorer, has Bing as the designated search engine. Once you have the system set up, you can still change the default search engine to Google, Yahoo, or leave it as Bing, whatever pleases you. But Britney Spurs will judge you if you leave it as Bing. And of course, you can still install any of your favorite web browsers out there as well. What kind of devices come stock with Windows Bing edition? Any device considered low cost, like the Z64. Windows 8.1 with Bing helps OEMs add Windows to low cost devices while driving end user usage of Microsoft services such as Bing and OneDrive. With the Z64 coming in at $219.99, Windows Bing Edition helps keep the price down versus say buying an Intel NUC, which is considered a bare bones device with no OS included. Next question, can I upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 8.1 with Bing? Yes, according to Minex's website, you can upgrade to Windows 10 when the time comes. Is the system bogged down with Windows 8.1 with Bing? If you're talking about boot times, then no. The Z64 is able to boot from a cold start in just 15 seconds. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Windows 8.1 with Bing is still just Windows 8.1. And at the end of the day, it actually separates the Z64 from being a plain old media hub to being an actual mini PC. Now, if you're interested in the Minix Z64 in either flavor, check the links below. Leave a comment down below as well. Would you try Windows Bing Edition with a mini PC like this? Or would you rather wait for Windows 10 to be available for something like the Raspberry Pi 2? I'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you later.